In this tutorial, we will talk about how to find out assets for editing and add glow like Nat. How do you find out assets for editing the videos? I will show you some websites through which I use to download my images or videos. And most importantly, I will tell you how you can download animated icon. So, first of all, let's go to my most favorite website which is Rapixel. If you have seen my videos from the beginning, then you know that I take a lot from Rapixel and use it in my videos. So, whatever you want, you have to search here. And you will get PNG images easily in high resolution. Next, our website is also very important that is PNG Egg. From here, you can download a lot of things in high resolution. For example, if I click on the paper, but you have to search whatever you want. I clicked on the paper for now, so we have got a lot of high resolution paper effects. See here, it's perfect and you can use it in your video as a lower third. Like just use and add the text talking about them. You can download these paper effects and use in any video. It's easy. And the good thing is that it is 100% free. The more you explore it, the more good things you will get. And our next website is Pixabay. It's very popular so you download any image or video 100% free. Next is Pixels. You must know about it because it is a very popular. And a lot of people use it to find out their assets. The next website is Free 3D Icon website. You can easily find 3D icons from here. It is pro and free as well. In free, you get one camera angle and one PNG. So you have to click on the camera angle from here and click on the free download button. After clicking, you will see that attribution is required. All the websites I have told you, wherever attribution is required, you have to give credit to the person who has made the picture. If you are working on a high profile project, then you have to take care of the attribution required. The next website is a very famous website called Freepik. From here, you get PSD, templates, vectors, photos of high quality. You can easily use it in your projects. It is a pro website, but it can also give you a lot for free. You have to explore it. The next website is Vecteezy. Here also, we get a lot of images, vectors, etc. This is also a pro website, but there are a lot of free and good things. You can use it for free. The next website is Dareful. On this, you can download high quality 4K video, which will be 100% free. You can easily use it. Next website is free clip art. Here we get many types of clip art free of cost. You can download it as a PNG. For example, after clicking it, you can download it easily in small, medium or large. You will get many icons from here. Next is flat icon. In this, we can get all kinds of icons. There are free and paid both. It depends on you, if you want to get it for free, then we will get PNG for free. But wanna make sure all of you free versions of all good to go. I have not purchased any of these websites. I use total free of cost things in my editing that enough. Next, we have Love SVG. This is another important website and it will be very helpful. I have clicked on the template. From here you will get an idea of what you can do with Jitter. Here you can see the search bar. It is fully motion graphic and animated. You can see how easy you can make handles from here. If you click here, it will take you to the next page. The good thing about this is that the logo comes on the side. So you have seen how you can change whatever you want. You have to double click there and can edit as you need. After editing, you have to export it. This is what we get for Pro in 1080p. So we get 720 easily, with which we can download. We can use it as a short clip, but if you want to use it in a professional way, you need to purchase it. This is a very good website with which you can download motion graphics very easily. Next we have SVG editor. Like if you have any SVG, don't have an illustrator, or you don't know how to run an illustrator, then you can easily edit it here. If you don't have AI installed, then you don't need to install it. You can do basic work with SVG here and you can also make me a new SVG. After this is Photoshop's duplicate. After this, here we have UI gradients. You can download all kinds of gradients from here in JPEG. Whatever gradient you like, 
you have to click there simply. Like I liked the color of the dark ocean. After coming here, you will write get JPEG easily from here. Click on it. In the download option here, it will download your gradient. Now whatever color gradient you want from here, you will get it easily. In addition to this, you can also make your own custom. But for those who are beginners and they don't know about gradients, or they don't have much idea about Photoshop, Illustrator, then this website works like a magic for them. You just have to click whatever color you want. The most important website for animated icons is Envato. Now, how can we download animated icons for video that's used in CapCut easily? Here basically animated icons for After Effects and Premium Pro. That's you can easily find them under the video templates. As soon as you click here, you will get animated icons in the video templates that's for After Effect and Premium Pro. Now we are going as a beginner. And now I am assuming that you don't have After Effects or Premiere Pro. So what we have to do for that, let the animated icon remain. And change category that is stock video and let's search it. Now check it. We have many animated icons related to stock video. For example, I want to use an animated icon in my project of CapCut from these. So I will download it easily from here. And see here, there is an alpha channel. Where there is an alpha channel, it means that the no background behind it icons. We are free to use anywhere. It's looped as well. So you have a lot of types. You can download whatever you want from here. After that, back to Canva and see how we can use Canva in more professional way. Now I will tell you how you can search here. Like a pro. For example, you come to elements and search here. You don't know anything about the back and forth. You put the next keyword and searched it. Now I will tell you how it's best way to use Canva. For example, I searched community here. So I come to graphics here. If I want an icon, I will come to graphics. If I want a photo, I will go to photos. If I want videos, I will go to videos. Like I added pick and go to info button here, you will get some related keywords if you want you can use to find some similar image. If you want to favorite this pic or icon which we have, you can by clicking star here. You can also add to folder. You can also see its collection. Right now, it is not showing but you can see it. I will show you next. Here you have to click on view more by Yuri's from Getty image. If you click here you can see all the images which he has made in his collection. If he has made any graphics then it will show here. If he has made any audio then it will show here. Similarly if we move to next. For example I want some graphic here. I have clicked here. Again I have told you that its important button is info. You have to click on info and then view more by this. Whichever name of creator you just click. Now you have to see you don't have to search one by one. If you want this kind of icons, you can see all the icons which he has made are shown here. Now, let's go to back. I will delete this for now. Let's go to photo. From here you can search anything. For example, I want some collage type here. So see this. All the images which I have got. These are all collage images. So as I have told you, here you can search any kind of keywords. Whatever you want to search. Now as I have searched for card, I liked this collage. I want to use this in my video. So I have to click on info. I have to click here. So all the things which he has made. It will show here in all. If he has made any graphics. Video. Same as I have told you before. So here we have some things. Which he has made and uploaded on Canva. Now here and click at View Collection. As soon as you click here, the collection will be shown to you. So from here, you can see the code of the collection. Copy on your Word file, or you can save it anywhere. In this, all the things which will be there. You don't have to search again. If you want cars again in same style or other elements, you can paste that code. For example, let me copy this. 
Now I will go here. Here I have searched in search element. As soon as I pasted this. This code. So I have got the same things. Or you can save your time for future. By doing this. You can do this with everyone. Whatever search you do here. So this was just an idea. I have shown you a way. Then tell me in the comment. How helpful this thing was for you. And all the websites which I have told you. How helpful they were for you. So again I have told you about this view collection. As soon as you click here. See more like this. So here you can check magic. So how many things you have got. In that magic recommendation. Okay. So this was a very important. So after this we will see. How we can apply glow on any image. So for that. You have to take any photo. Whether it is in your laptop. Whether you want to take from here. Means whatever photo you want to take. Bring it here. Come on edit photo. As soon as you come on edit photo. All the things you have. You have to explore. If you click on magic expand. As I did in front of you. It will expand. Whatever your image is. It will not spoil the resolution. It will expand all the things around it. So it will take some time. Because it takes some time to expand. So after that. Its result will be shown here. You have to check it. You will get some options in this. You can expand it easily. If you have any image. You can expand wastily from this options. Here is magic eraser. If you want to erase something. You can do easily. Adjust the size of magic eraser and apply it where you. Simply remove the background from the background of your picture or image. Very important thing is magic edit. For example, you can replace something you want with magic edit. Let me give you an overview of how to do it. First of all, you have to take a brush and remove the area where you don't want it. For example, you have to remove the area where you don't want it. You have to do the coloring the part you need to replace. You have to describe your edit here. Like I add instruction at a vase with beautiful flowers. You can give as you need. You have to type whatever you want here. As soon as you click on generate, you will get some options. Here replace parts see look good. You have to use those options to address whatever you want. Next is magic grab you need to explore by yourself for quick check for you. See how we add glow and stoke effect in CapCut. It has given glow on its side. You can apply glow on any image. You can play with its settings. Many people ask, how do you add glow in your videos? The simple method I am telling you. You can apply glow from here. If you want to apply drop, it will be like this. If you want to apply outline, it will be like this. You can adjust it with its size. Autofocus is also good. The new option is. Blur is also good. Enhancer. If you have an image. The quality is low. You have to choose an image. It will convert it to HD. It is a very useful feature. I use it in many videos. Typecraft is also very useful. That is for today. How's today video leave comment and all the social link in description make sure to support. Join Discord server for all the pro items free of cost link in description. Peace!